Where's Welcome back, everyone. Cheese? To Where's the cream <laughs> cheese commercial? We trust. If you're watching oh. this on YouTube, there was no cream cheese commercial this time around, which is a little sad for me because that joke will continue to have legs the more we show the cream cheese commercial. For everybody listening on podcast, we appreciate your support. You're not getting the same commercials. We apologize, but there's a funny cream cheese like esports mockumentary that's coming up on Paramount Plus. You should check it out. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, ISWT Pod. That would be fantastic. We appreciate your support on all platforms. I'm Jimmy Conrad alongside two of my former U.S. Men's National Team teammates, Charlie Davies and Heath Pierce. Guys, we just had Julian Lescott on. I'm excited that he validated our friendship. That was awesome. I had to start there with our interview. Anything that he said, Heath, I'll come to you first, that really stood out and 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 made you more excited for this England matchup, which is happening the day after Thanksgiving, or, or, or kind of made you feel like, no, nah, I think we can take these guys. I mean, there's just a, and, and he's on the inside of it. It's it's a it's a level of confidence that England never lived up lived up to. They had the same confidence for the last thirty years. They never lived up to that. The national team level up until this new generation going back to eighteen and and um, and then Euros and and whatnot. So twenty and but it, it's matching up with the quality and the talent that they have. And I and for me, the, the biggest thing is like hoping we get to that level with our national team at a certain point where that there's just this confidence, right? When we talk about England, we're still a ways off of that belief. There's, there's, there's a lot of hope woven into us beating England tactics and how they come out and where we can really break them down versus England looking at it saying, Hey, we're better on paper. We're better on the field. We're better as a team. We should beat them and we should, you know, we're, we're, we're looking past the group stage. You're not looking past it because they're going to do the business, but, but, you know, we're, we're looking at trying to win this thing. And I, that level of confidence, I think is, is what, we should be aspiring to uh, for the U.S. as a fan base, as 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 players, to have that that true belief, and it's not sort of smoke and mirrors. I think that'll happen a little bit, Charlie, leading up to 2026, because we need this young group of players to actually get their World Cup experience. They don't have it yet. They just went through the first qualifying phase, and I think no matter what happens in this World Cup, it's gonna really benefit us leading into 2026. Maybe not to have the confidence that England has, because they've had back to back tournaments of playing very very well at a high level you know with everybody watching with extreme expectations and pressure but i think there will be some element of that because we'll be facing the same types of expectations because we'll be hosting that tournament in 2026 yeah i think that this england team honestly thinks they're going to win and they have a lot of talent but again i'm going to use that if if you're an american which we've always used is that underdog role we're going to use that because everyone's going to look at us and go, oh, that's a young group. They don't have any experience. Maybe some players aren't playing regularly. Christian Pulisic, maybe he's playing half the games like he always does. This is a moment for us to come in and make some noise. At the end of the day, this World Cup was always about grooming our, our future stars for 2026. But don't let that, de de I guess, de be a deter deterrent from mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this group's potential in this tournament because we can get out of this group that should be the ex expectation so i'm excited and i think realistically we can we can get a result against england and that that'll set the tone that will set the tone for for, for this world cup it, it will i'm, I'm kind of curious if they trip up against iran in game one how much more pressure there will be on them in game two because no matter what happens with the results say they lose to iran and we beat wales and we've got three points and they've got zero good into the second one they're still going to be the favorites no matter what the situation is and i'm curious and and i know that there was some deflection from jolian about oh well having talent's a good problem to have and and this is what you want as a national team and i get that but when i look back at let's say the 2002 brazil team that team picked itself, right? You had Ronaldo up top. You had Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, uh, Gibraltar Silva in the middle. You had Roque Jr. in the back with Lucio. You had Roberto Carlos and Cafu. Like, like that team, you weren't breaking into that team. And when I look at this England team, even though they have talent, it's clear, world-class talent, I still don't know if they know their identity, though they have worked it out. They've had a couple tournaments where they've they've figured it out. But, Keith, I'm, I'm kind of looking at you here. Is there a way we can maybe – play into their lack of maybe their best 11 and or maybe they figure that out in, in the iran game and then we're not maybe if we i mean were playing them first i guess i'm talking myself into a circle here but they're, i mean they're they're also going through this situation now where harry kane could make a move this summer uh raheem sterling's probably going to make a move this summer um they've got a number of phil foden is, is is emerging so yeah they've kind of they've always got that constant overlap of next talent and and current talent 
and they've got things moving. They've got a lot of moving pieces, but they're just like you talk about getting getting a punch to the face by Iran. They could also put up five on Iran, right? Like they could right, score right. early and run away on Iran to where Iran doesn't even know what's going on. Uh, before by the time that they try to figure it out or figure out how to how to settle in, they could be down multiple goals. And so they have that level of talent. But again, I I agree with you, Jimmy, that they the talent is high and they have depth. But uh, I am curious about that that starting eleven and the cohesion within this team. Um, but you you know you take it into context of the results they've gotten uh, postseason uh, at the club level and and going into the summer for the national team compared to. Again, mid-season in a World Cup where uh, there isn't that exhaustion point of too many matches or, or again, coming off of chasing uh, a trophy. Okay, so now let's pivot to one of the players in our team who, if he does well with this move, I'm talking about Jordan Pifak, who left Young Boys after winning the Golden Boot with 22 goals in the Swiss League last season to go to Union Berlin, who, kind of a surprise to finish fifth in the Bundesliga last season. They will be in the Europa League, so that's... Good news, even though we know that young boys played in the Champions League group stages uh, not too long ago, and he scored against Manchester United in that game. But how important is this move for Jordan Pifak at age 26 and to his chances, our resident number nine, Charlie Davies? Because if he blows it up in the Bundesliga, he's going to have to force Greg Berhalter to take him. There's just no other option, in my humble opinion. It's a it's a massive move for Jordan Pifak because if he stayed in the same league, with young boys and produced the same amount of goals, nothing's changing. The mm-hmm. only way to continue to develop and progress is by getting a move to a better league, a bigger league, which is the Bundesliga, and continue to produce. If you do that in that league, you are you are going to be on you are going to be on this World Cup team. You are going to make this team if you produce like you did in Switzerland, because obviously Union Berlin will also be in Europe. You're and you're playing in Europa League. So he's still getting European competition and he's and he's constantly playing against, you know, really top teams in the Bundesliga week in and week out. So I think for him, this was the move he needed to make in order to give himself a real chance at not only being on the World Cup, but developing into a, a, a bigger, better uh, striker. Okay. And I, by the way, I think he I think he can do well uh, the way that he the way he he's got um, uh, a lot of tools that I think play well in Germany of being a physical striker in between the center backs. When you think about um, what's his name that I was a uh, big horse that was at, at uh, Wolfsburg and a number of others that are like kind of your traditional target strikers. I played with mostly target strikers when I was in Germany. And I think that that can do well, whether that fits into Greg's. I, again, if he does well, he's going to the world cup for sure. Now, whether or not he's, he'll ever be part of Greg's plans in terms of the style that he wants to play is, is another conversation, but it is, I agree with Charlie that it is a validator to say, all right, you don't like me here. You're still like, there's still an asterisk next to my name because of who, who I scored against and where, and you don't like the way that I am in the national team. I'm going to go improve it and go after the next level. And I think that's his only chance, one, as a player to develop, but two, to prove Greg, to prove Greg Berhalter wrong in that, in that case. Yeah, for everybody that doesn't know, Union Berlin uh, have a really, really disciplined counterattacking style. And I think that's going to be interesting. Maybe not for us against Wales, where I think it, we might go toe-to-toe. We might even have more possession in that game. And I think Iran's going to sit in a low block. But against an England, that can be really vital with regard to how we counter and how we take advantage of the spaces that we get and how important it's going to be to hold up the ball, which I still think is an area that our number nines in general have to get better at as we look to transition so we can get and lay that ball off to our obviously very attacking uh, or, or talented wingers and, and central midfielders to make that happen. Now, the, the sporting director, club managing director, excuse me, Union Berlin said, Jordan is a striker who will suit us well with the way he plays and who can play in different systems. We're looking forward to him, his goal threat, and the fact that he has chosen Union Berlin. That is uh, Oliver Runer who uh, made those comments. So they're excited to have him, and he's excited to be there. And I think it's a win-win situation, Keith. By the way, Jimmy, and and yours, Fisher, is, is the manager who spent most of his managerial career before going to Union Berlin in the Swiss League. And so I think there is a respect that will come with this quality of player, that scouting, that belief, the network that you have to be able to scout a player and bring them in and feel like they're going to be of real value for you. So I, it's more than just, like I think, a hope. I think there is a real belief in, in, in his ability to contribute, which will only help the national team. Okay, now let's pivot into our younger national team players, our U-20s. Did the business against Costa Rica in the U-20 CONCACAF tournament, and that now books our ticket to the U-20 World Cup. This is the fifth straight time we've qualified for the FIFA U-20 World Cup. It's in Indonesia next summer. That's a very exciting proposition for our guys. However, 
we still have one more step to go because if we beat Honduras in the semifinals, Charlie Davies, we book our ticket to the Olympics in 2024, which would be the first time we've done that in the last three Olympics. Let's go. So, so this is a group of players obviously playing very well. Another Aronson Paxton scored a brace against Costa Rica. The game got a little chippy at the end. Maybe you guys saw it on the internet. So everybody listening and watching where there was a little bit of a fight afterwards. But I like our pluckiness. I like that we have some some belief in who we are and what we're about. We're not going to back down from anybody, Charlie. So I like us against Honduras, but as we've seen in previous iterations, you still got to go out there and fight. We might be more talented on paper, but we still got to go out there and actually put the effort in. Nobody's going to hand us anything. Respect has to be earned. Ha has to be. And, and this is a valuable experience for this younger group. We saw Mexico failing to qualify. For, Which is for, crazy. For the Olympics and under 23s. Uh, for the under 20s in the Olympics, which is unheard of because they typically dominate not only CONCACAF, but they're dominant across the globe. And you're looking at the U.S. on the flip side. We haven't been to the Olympics since 2008. Which is, this, which on, can I just say it is embarrassing, but it, go ahead. Keep it going. is, it, it is embarrassing. But if we can get groups in the under 20 World Cup, in the under 23 Olympics, that is how you continue to develop and get them in these atmospheres. So that come World Cup time, Nothing's new. You're not shell shocked. You've been in, in the top level of uh, competition in that environment. That's why it's so important. So you can always be tested against the best in the world. This group should, should win this game. They should win this game, but nothing is a given. And this is, again, it brings us back to World Cup qualifying. Nothing's easy. All these teams are playing for their lives because it's a, an opportunity to set up their family, to set up success for themselves. And so you have to come in with that type of mentality. That is, it's literally life or death. Okay.